Hey, what's up? I'm going to show you how to do this look. I live in Los Angeles and we don't really have autumn here. The weather gets a little cooler, but that's pretty much it. And the number one change that I really wish would happen is I wish the leaves would change color besides from green to a lighter green to dead. So based on movies and photos that I see that make me think of autumn, I thought of this water marbling and I'll show you how I did it. So first of all, the supplies you'll need. You need a cup of water and what works best for water marbling is room temperature filtered water. You need some sort of pointed stick, either an orange wood stick, a toothpick, or even a bamboo skewer. Just some sort of stick with a point at the end. Uh, I recommend at least one napkin. You need either scotch tape or chapstick, and for this tutorial I'm going to be using scotch tape. You need between two and four colors. I chose four because these are the colors I think of when I think of autumn. I think of yellow, red, orange, and green. So these are the colors I'm going to be using. But you don't have to use these colors. Maybe autumn for you is a different selection of colors. But these are the ones that I chose. So as you can see, I painted my nail with two layers of white polish. I honestly chose white because this way I don't have more of a particular color showing. They're just all going to show on a white canvas. So I'm going to show you how to put on the tape now. What you do is you take a strip about an inch long and you put it on your finger directly under your cuticle. You don't want to wrap it underneath. You want those two little tails sticking out there. So then you take a slightly longer piece. You put it on the side of your finger, not right up against your cuticle, but pretty close, then you wrap it around and you put it on the other side. Now you don't want to wrap it underneath. You want your finger to look like it has a little hood or something and I'll show you why when I'm all done. So what I like to do is I use one of the colors as kind of a base to put on the water first. Uh, this is because it'll spread out and it'll thin out and you know it just it kind of gives me like a base to work with. So the order I go in, I start with the green, then I use the orange, then the red, then the yellow, and then I go back to the orange and the red. the yellow again, and now I go back to the green. So I redo that. I'm going to stop there, but if you want you can fill the whole cup with the bullseye. But I prefer to keep it small since I only dip one nail at a time. You are able to dip multiple nails with this look, but I like a more precise design so I only dip one nail at a time. So you take your stick and starting on the outside you drag it in and every two lines I like to wipe off the excess polish because it accumulates on the stick and if that happens it can really mess up your design. So you just keep making the petals here or whatever you want to call these. And I'm just going to stop there. And what I do is I kind of start uh, like in the middle toward the outside and you just swirl and you head toward the center. Wipe off the excess polish and you just pick out a spot that you like. If you need to turn it all, you are more than able to. So then you just dunk it in there. So then you take your stick and you just pull the polish away from your finger. It forms a skin on the top and what you're doing right now is you're getting rid of that skin. So you get rid of all of that and then you slowly bring your finger out 
and that's what it looks like. I'm going to show you how to remove this. So you take a pair of scissors, you put it underneath the tape, and honestly what I just, what I just do, because I want to get minimal paint on my scissors, is I just push until it breaks. So then you grab the tape, whoops, I didn't tape it correctly obviously. It's supposed to stay all together, so you grab the tape and you slowly pull it away from your finger. And that's what we've got. Now what you can do now is you take your orange wood stick or whatever you're using and clean up the sides. What you can also do with your stick, there might be a bubble on the surface, very gently pop the bubble. And that's what you end up with. And what this is to me is this symbolizes the swirling leaves in the wind, which also doesn't really happen here because it just doesn't get that windy here. I hope you liked my tutorial, even though it wasn't the best. Bye! <laughs>